today we will be taking an 18 hour ferry from Caron to Manila. This will be our first time experiencing Aurora here in the Philippines. So how did this come about? Well, let me tell you. So we were meant to get a flight from Caron to Manila, but one way it was 20,000 pesos. We were like, we can't spend 20,000 pesos per person just to get to Manila. So I looked on the map, I zoomed out, and I saw Koron is quite close to Manila. So we were like, oh, is there any other possible way to get to Manila? So we searched Koron to Manila via ferry, and we found this website. It was like, to go. Um, so we put in our available date. However, ferry was only running on Monday or Thursday. So let's go back when we got on the ferry at 12 o'clock midnight last night. Five minutes later. Alright guys, we finally got on the ferry. It's um we me and Zara are both in the top bunk. There's actually loads of beds and then there's like a prima one where you get your own private room. Get a blanket but you have to deposit an ID and then just have to show your ticket at the end. So when you're on the bottom bunk you're like pretty tiny, you've got your own little like cabin like this. <laughs> but on the top, I'm just like when someone else comes in, I'm just a bit worried about you know like laying and like opening my eye and we're like face to face might be a bit strange. <laughs> or like falling off, you know, like mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway guys we're gonna try and go to sleep and we'll do a, a tour of the whole place later when we wake up. Breakfast is at six AM, so we'll probably see you then. The next morning. So we've just woken up from a nap and we're gonna head for breakfast now because breakfast and lunch is actually included in your ticket price. It's good. Yes. It's good. And then after that I think we're gonna sleep again. Mm. And then we will get to showing you around this ferry and our thoughts on it and how much it was and everything as well, because I'm sure a lot of you will wanna know. Cheaper than 20k, I'm telling you. give the mattress maybe a six out of ten it's pretty thin probably about this thick um a little bit sticky there's no bed sheet so luckily i'm wearing full sleeve so i'm not sticking but zara earlier wearing a t-shirt said he was sticking to the bed so that's not great but yeah it's fairly comfortable but after a while you do have to turn over because it's a bit uncomfortable pillows i'd give maybe a seven out of ten bit of a neck ache after a while but fairly good thickness Included in your ticket price you get a blanket and a pillowcase. In order to get that you just have to show your ticket and present an ID and then you get your ID back when you give the blanket and the pillowcase back. So make sure you give them back otherwise you lose your ID basically. Facilities, there's quite a lot of facilities here. We have got obviously the place where you go and eat, the kitchen, but there there's also a karaoke machine and also a place where like a band could play. Um, no one actually played there and I think it's because of the time of this ferry, 2am until what, like 7pm? I think if you go on the 6pm ferry on a Thursday, maybe there's performers there or something, so that's pretty cool. There's also a common area with some pretty fancy uh, chairs and things and some shops. Uh, there's even like a bobber 
little shop here. It's not open yet, maybe this evening, but that's pretty cool. There's like even a clothes shop and then there's like a main reception area and loads of staff here as well. I wasn't expecting so many staff. Um, there's a lot. But yeah, this is actually pretty cool. It's exceeded my expectations massively, but there's lots of different class types. I think Zara will take you through the cost of the ticket and the different class types later. This experience brings back old memories ever since I was little. Because I used to take the ferry with my parents when we go from Kalibo to Manila. Oh, memories, eh? Did you used to like it or no? Um, I used to be so scared. Really? No, no, because um, we weren't on this on this bit. Like there was no aircon. It was so open. It was like it was just wind basically, and um, it was quite scary. I remember when I was little. This is a scary story, by the way. I'm not even joking. I woke up in the I woke up in the middle of the night and then I looked down. There was like a white lady on the road. On the road. I'm not. I'm. I'm serious. I've never heard this story before. No, because it's just came back but yeah you don't need nightmare. to believe me but it was a nightmare no maybe maybe but how long is yeah. the ferry from Kalibo to Manila quite long as well about 18 hours as well so oh. yeah it's quite long similar well yeah. this is going quick mm. on the map it looks like we're quite close to Manila already so yeah one hour later all right guys we're about to come into Manila Bay now it's gonna take us about hour and a half to two hours I think but we can literally see Manila outside the window. Um, overall, our experience here, it's been amazing. It's quite comfy, like... Yeah, it's gone super quick. Like, I've, I've actually enjoyed just, like, laying around and doing nothing. Yeah. Like, it's been quite fun. It's gone quite quick, and I can't believe how much stuff is actually set up. I kind of thought that it was going to be really boring, mm. but... You've got regular food intervals. Yeah. Uh, there's several things you can do. They've even got like a quiz and a performance. Yeah. So there's right like now. entertainment included as well. Yeah. Right. So I think it's great and way more comfortable than I thought. The bed's actually quite. It's like fair enough. There's the space is not that much, but at least you get um, at least you get a blanket, you get a pillow, you get a proper mattress. What more can you ask for? Like you don't get that on the plane. And you pay less doing this than actually getting on the plane. So I think we're gonna start doing more ferries, I think. Yeah, it's been really nice as well to just be able to come upstairs and get some fresh air whenever you like and things like that as well. So really, really nice. You can constantly see as well, like you can see different islands. Yeah. At one point I looked at a place I went, that looks exactly like Zambales. It wasn't, but it looked like it. And it's nice that you can just see things like that it's been really nice and it's been a beautiful day mm. and the sea has been really really calm i mean we are on a giant ferry but <laughs> it seems like there's no way so it's perfect weather so the staff here on the boat they're actually um trying to get people to be more engaging like joining them with karaoke so right now behind us behind this wall there's actually karaoke going around there Um, they're trying to get more guests to sing for them. What about you? That. And I'm not singing. <laughs> At least if you give me a shot. <laughs> I'm joking. But no. But yeah, it's, um, it's actually quite fun here. Um, they try to make sure that you're not bored or anything. They try to get you going, like just to join in basically. So we are currently here at the common area where you can get some drinks here, there's like a little shop and you can get a shape actually here. Um, there's some nice seats and then you can even charge your phone just on the other side here and there's aircon so what more can you ask for? So there's three classes so it is economy, tourist class and then you get your own private cabin with a private toilet. So in economy class you're basically in an open air room with lots of other people and you um it's like a free-for-all first come first serve luckily today it wasn't that busy so i think everyone's got where they wanted to go in tourist class you get allocated your own bed so there's no chance of you like not getting a bed and there's also aircon and the beds are a little bit nicer here and you get a bit more of like a cabin-y feel especially if you're in the bottom bunk 
um, and then you've got the private cabins which I think you share with four people uh, you get your own room your own bathroom I think they've got their own dining area as well however one thing to note is just because you've booked the private one doesn't mean you'll definitely get the private one because our friends recently on this exact same ferry they booked for the private cabin and it was fully booked even though they paid for it so they had to come down to tourist class and they didn't get a refund or anything so I don't know it's a bit strange if you enjoyed this video make sure to let us know down below and maybe we can do a video on economy class and a video on the private cabins if you're interested in seeing what they look like and what that experience is like so we paid about 1900 for our one with the aircon and i'm not sure what the other one is because i couldn't say what the price was because it was um sold out Alright guys, we have finally arrived here in Manila after 18 hours. I think it only took like 16 in the end, it was pretty quick. Yeah, um, so now the plan is, we're just queuing up right now, the queue is still quite long. Mm. Um, the thing that makes it a bit longer I think, is the queue, Is the queue. yeah, just trying to get people out of the ship. Because they don't listen to the rules here, they don't just line <laughs> up in just one single air, one single line. They like to uh, go everywhere. So we're going to head to Labdi Makati now and we'll see you there. Let's go, let's go. One hour later. All right, I thought I'd just quickly show you where we regularly stay when we're in Manila. So this is called Labdi Makati. It's in a really good location. It's got lots of activities here. So on the communal floor, there's like pool tables, the like football tables, and then there's like a rooftop bar, uh, which do really good food and really good drinks. They have like happy hour and things. There's even a spin the wheel where you can get like free credits. So I won 200 meal voucher and Zar won a coffee. So we're pretty happy with that. They also have events. So yeah, it's a really good place to stay. And I'm gonna show you the room now because they're pretty spacious and really nicely designed. Overall, this was a really good experience. Despite being 18 hours long, the time just flew by and it went super quickly. In terms of comfortability, everything was pretty good. The only thing that was a little bit average was the food. It didn't taste that great, but at least it's included and we think it's super worth it. Price-wise, it's very affordable, especially if you're going to or from Palawan. So if you're looking for a budget alternative and you're not short on time, you should definitely consider this option. But anyway, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and might as well subscribe. So we'll see you in the next one. Peace.